Hi, my name is Marilyn and this is my channel. Welcome. <laughs> Today is October 27th, 2021 and this is Floss Tube number two. I would like to start by thanking everyone that watched my introduction video and also thank you for the lovely comments and to all the people that subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget. The button is down at the bottom. Subscribe. <laughs> all right, let's get right to it. Um, I am going to show you some of my whips and pieces that I'm stitching up. So here is a whip that this is a piece that I started last year, probably in the summer. So it's a little over a year that I, I, I started stitching this. And then when I got to the last round, I put it in the bag, see in this little mesh bag, and I just stopped. So here is the pattern. It's Stitch Fill, and it's by Thimbleberries. Oh, sorry, Thimble Blossoms. You know what, I'm not even gonna edit that. Uh, yeah, I, I've started this video about 10, 15 times, and I'm just gonna go through with it. Bloopers and all. So anyway, this is, uh, where is it? Okay, so this is what I have stitched so far. And yeah, it, I look at it and it breaks my heart that I haven't finished it. What happened was I got to, let's see if I can show this up close. This last round, well, this pattern calls for some quarter inch, um, quarter stitches and three quarter stitches. I think that's what they are, yeah. Well, in the, you know, in some of the rounds where the spools of thread, they have, I, I wanna say they are three quarter stitches and I did it, but then this last round, if you look at the houses and there's trees there, see the little trees, they all, so all the quarter and three quarter stitches are just, yeah. And I'm sure if I was using a higher count fabric, that would be easy peasy, but I'm using, uh, this is 14 count Ada and I'm just not enjoying cutting right through the fabric it's not as fun <laughs> so I just put it to the side and I figured if I just look at it once a month just to encourage myself maybe I'll get to it but I know I will eventually Hopefully, by next year, by the end of next year, it will be done. At least that's what I keep telling myself. Now, another one that I started a few stitches and I just put it away is this um, God Save the Queen. Oh my goodness. And I wanted to do this so bad. So I did. I got... Well, I started this piece. Please don't laugh. <laughs> this is all I started doing. I think I have for this, I have a 16 count Heartland, I think that's what it says. And yeah, I didn't enjoy, I, I think I'm gonna take these stitches off because it's one over one. And I, I think I want it to be a little more I want the stitches to be puffier. So that's why I stopped. I wasn't sure if I, I was, I liked the way you can see right through. Like it wasn't full coverage, you know, like the stitches I can see. So that's why I stopped working on that one. But I do want to get to it. And I will eventually. I'm just having so much fun with my other patterns. Now, I did mention before that I love Lori Holt patterns, and those are the ones that I'm currently working on. That I really, I've really been enjoying working on them. Oh, and I have, so I am working on two of Lori Holt patterns. And this one, 
so happy. This was a stitch along, but yeah. <laughs> I started several weeks after the whole stitch along started, and that's okay. <sighs> but this morning I was stitching. This is what I have so far. And I'm, I'm really proud of my progress. So, and I'm having lots of fun with it. I love to do the fill work. And so I am gonna enjoy the lettering and all these colors, look how pretty they are. So I am using the called for colors. Look at all these beautiful colors. Aren't they beautiful? So, yeah. And I'm having lots of fun stitching that one. Every morning with my coffee, I like to do a little cross stitch. It's like a friend with me. And I usually listen to or watch uh, floss tube videos or, you know, different things on YouTube. I love watching documentaries, so sometimes I put that on. But lately, I've been watching Castle. Yeah. Uh, I never got to watch that show from the very beginning, like the first few seasons. So now that I discovered that it's on Hulu, I started watching and it's my friend. <laughs> that is what keeps me company <laughs> during my morning coffee and uh, my stitching. <laughs> so the next one that I'm working on is Flea Market Flowers. And I am using I think I, I already mentioned in my previous video that I was using called for floss. So this is what I have so far. And I'm really excited. And I would, I'm looking forward to finishing these two cross stitches by the end of the year. Because I know that Lori Holt is coming out with many more cross stitches. At least that's the hint that I'm getting from that I kind of got, that was the vibe I got from um, that quarter shop. So we'll see, I hope so. <laughs> Her quilts are so beautiful and I think they all would make beautiful cross stitch patterns. And I just like stitching them for my sewing room. Oh, talking about my sewing room, I am gonna, uh, film a tour. I just have to clean it up a little. We were having a little issue with wasps getting into, my sewing room is in the basement. And long story short, somehow wasps were getting into the basement. They must have made some hive or whatever on the side of our house. And they were managing to, to creep in there. And well, for the past, month and a half or so, I've been visited by those little pesky yellow jackets. But by the time they got, you know, into my sewing room, they were so, they were docile, they were trying to get out. And well, thank goodness for my handy dandy Dyson cordless vacuum. I sucked those little babies up. <laughs> and that is the one reason I was not terrified. So. But what happened was my sewing room became a dumping ground. I would go downstairs, you know, vacuum up whatever yellow jackets were in my way. And then I just, oh, sorry. Uh, then I just went and picked up what I needed. And then I dumped what I didn't and everything has to go back in its place. Because we have had, I think it's been about a week. I haven't seen any, well, that's not true. I saw one the other night, but that one, I just, I think it was just little, uh, what, what the stragglers, stragglers left behind. So anyway, let me get back to my, uh, yeah, I forgot what I said. Oh, yes. <laughs> what I'm working on. See, I, I kind of 
lose track sometimes of what I'm saying. So the next one that I am working on is fresh, fresh cut. This was, uh, this was from the Stitch Quarterly. I'm not subscribed to it. I just saw the kit. Let's see. Can you see it? Yep. I saw um, the kit after it came out. There were some, I guess, extras. And I saw it and I thought it was so beautiful that I decided to, to purchase it. And it came with this really cute bag. And how could I say no, right? And all the flosses were in the kit and the fabric. So it was just everything that I needed. And I, I must say, this is such wonderful fabric. I, I know some people like stitching on Ada because it's hard. I don't enjoy hard fabric. And I've noticed that I can manipulate Ada. I crunch it up and it gets softer. But this is so wonderful to work with. What, let me see. So, oh, this is, let me see if I can, in the back of, it says what fabric this is. So this is 14 count, color and cotton, creamy white. Well, it doesn't say the color, it just says it's creamy white. Anyway, so this is what I've gotten so far. And I stopped stitching on this because I want to finish those other two Lori Holt patterns. I really do want to get them up in my sewing room. And I just wanted to have a few finishes. I want to finish some of the, because she's coming out with some new ones, and I do want to stitch all of her stuff. Just, I think it's beautiful. But that's just me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else they have. Oh, yeah, I like to work on something little. So I'm almost finished. I have one of the stitch cards. Oh, my goodness, this glare from the ring light. It's just glaring on, and I'm sorry, you can't really see. See? Okay, so this is what I have so far. I just need to finish the border. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna sew it into a little pillow, but I might, who knows? It depends how I'm feeling that day. And there is another one. Okay, so those are the things that I'm just, I'm working on. And I try not to work on too many at a time because I just don't want to have all these unfinished projects. It's just, I'm really new to this and I don't want to have tons of fabric just with a little stitch in it. Or I don't want to start stitching it on Ada and then, you know, have it in a bag for maybe three years. And then when I go and find it, realize that, oh, I don't want to stitch on Ada. I want to stitch on something else, or I don't like that. So I just rather not do that. And half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, so during the summertime, I finished two projects. I did post them on my Instagram, but I'd like to share it with you guys, gals and guys. Guys and gals. So the one I finished, Stitchy Stars. <laughs> okay. And I haven't, I bought the frame. I just haven't, you know, and I think this is the way I stitched it. But I guess I can hang it however I want, right? It doesn't matter. It's mine. <laughs> and I just need to fully finish it. My idea was, and the reason I haven't fully finished this was because I wanted to have just a few projects so that I can hang them up and I wanted to finish them all at the same time, fully finish them, because if I 
Now, if I fully finish this now, it's just going to go in a little corner because I don't have um, the rest of the wall, all the other pieces. And I also finished, oh, can I get it? I also finished Prim. Oh, Prim and Proper. Okay. And this is my Prim and Proper. Isn't she pretty? So for my piece, what I did was I didn't use, I used, let's see. I hope you don't see that. So I used some of the DMC colors and some of the Orifloss. And what I did was I auditioned them because I originally purchased all the DMC, but I didn't like the way some of them weren't showing up on my fabric. So right here, this would have been the color of the, can you see the vase, right? And I felt like it's too close to the fabric. So I just ordered the box of Orifloss and look how much prettier it is with this. But then some of the flowers are DMC and others are Orifloss or they're mixed. And since I started the whole thing with DMC, I started doing the outline in DMC. So I didn't want to undo that because I felt like it just, you know, it really wasn't going to be that much. The, the aura floss was darker or is darker, but I just didn't feel that it was worth all the effort to change it. And I like this brown, so it's all good. <laughs> now, I also have, those I finished, yeah, I said I finished those in the summer. So I have some other pieces that I thought they would be perfect for this time of year. Unfortunately, I haven't fully finished them. Maybe I'll do that this week. I don't know, it depends. It's not gonna take that long, they're little pillows. So I did these two little stitch cards. See? I stitched these up. Aren't they adorbs? So I just need to stitch. I actually need to, and I'm glad I waited, because I just need to stitch not stitch, put some fusible or something behind it so that the stuffing doesn't go through. Because if you look, you see it's Ada, so the little holes are pretty big. So I just have to wait. And these are my backs. This is the back, and this is the front. So those I have to, maybe I'll get to that sometime later on today or this week. Hmm. We'll see. I think I know why I didn't finish them. I was looking for fabric that had either witches hat or little cats. I think that's what it is. Oh, but look, I have another one that has little cats, but it had pumpkins. So anyway, here is my fully finished jack-o'-lantern. Can you see? And here it is. Any cute and this one has the cats but I didn't want to use the same fabric I just might wind up doing that it doesn't matter and this one I did a little envelope finish so I made a little pillow uh, yeah I don't think I'm gonna do the rest like that I think I'm just gonna fill them and just keep them permanently now I would like to share two pieces that I have here that I finished several years ago and the punch needle pieces. I started, I did, well, I took a class on punch needle 20, oh, 20, 2003 <laughs> and 03. And so 
I've been punching for a while. <laughs> I've been punching. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I used to do. I did a lot of punching. I didn't do. But then when I picked up cross stitch, I stopped punching. So anyway, here is, let me take it out of the little plastic baggie. So I did this one. Here, oh, whoops. Oh my goodness. So here's this little guy. My little jack-o'-lantern. And this is by Threads That Bind. It's a punch needle. And I was thinking of punching him again, but without the little face. So that way I can have him up. Uh, throughout the fall right because then he has to go away in the little box and yeah makes me a little sad and then the other one so I love dolls and I have several room boxes or and doll houses and I don't just collect little tiny dolls see I have dolls everywhere can you see I have, yeah, okay. So I love punching rugs for them. And this one is in my, I display this one in my larger room box. They're my Gail Wilson Early American Dolls. And maybe I will give you a tour of my doll houses sometimes in, sometime in the future. So you can see how I display either my punch needles or cross stitches because I've collected several uh, miniature cross stitches. So here's this little guy and that one is, can you see? Yep, this one is also um, from Threads That Bind. But this lays on the floor just like that. And I think it's adorable. <gasps> Ooh! So speaking of little tiny things for my dolls, this little one, I cross-stitched this one. I've had this kit. I collect kits. If I didn't mention this before, I'm mentioning it. I'm mentioning it now. I'm letting you know. I'm a collector. I collect anything that I think is beautiful to me. I also admire people's collections. I love to see collections that people have, whether they're things that I would collect or not. I do appreciate collections and I appreciate well-displayed collections. <laughs> not that mine are, but uh, I made, I had collected some Gail Wilson uh, kits and I collected, I think, I think all the ones that she had available before she was discontinuing her early American series. So I, let me see if I have them around here. I don't know. Sorry. I thought I had them here. I guess I don't, I don't know where I put them. The kits, I wanted to show you the kits that they come in. So here's a picture of the cross stitch, right? And here's my little cross stitch. So it's one over one and I wanna tell you that this is maybe, I don't know if this is 18 count or 20 count but I thought it would be cute. Now, what I discovered is the frame that came in the kit is gonna be a little too big. So you see how on the picture, it's a little, no, I guess it's a little bit bigger. So this one is gonna be, but that's okay. I don't think my dolls are gonna complain. And 
you may be wondering, well, why didn't you fully finish that one? I mean, it's a little tiny thing. Well, it's because I have three other cross stitches. This is one of them. And I don't know where I put my other ones. I have, <laughs> if you see where I'm sitting at, I have all these kits around me on the floor. I wanted to share with you, but right now I can't find anything and it's just next time. I'll share them next time. So anyway, so I wanted to put the other ones here and down here and that way I can just finish them all at once and then it'll just be easy. But this, I haven't been putting on a hoop. It's just so tiny, I don't need to. So of course I need magnifiers and good lighting. Well, just magnifiers. I, I, I don't worry so much about my lighting because I, I just use my kitchen lighting, whatever I have. And my husband, we usually have our house really well lit. So anyway, yeah, that is one of the reasons I got into cross stitch again is because I want to make little tiny things for my dollhouse. And I think cross stitches are so beautiful. So I want to make little samplers. Ah, wouldn't that be beautiful? See, now that is a goal. I think I can, I can, um, that is attainable, you know, have a whole wall of samplers in one of my dollhouses. That would be awesome. <laughs> so I can live vicariously through her little house. Why not, right? <laughs> so that is pretty much all I have other than, okay, wish me luck. This is the new one that I plan to start soon. It is Happy Farm Girl, Lori Holt. And the reason I'm excited to start this one is because look at all that fill up. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm just gonna outline her little apron, her dress, her legs, boots, everything. And then I'm just gonna mindlessly fill all of this, which I truly enjoy. <laughs> So I just have to, I just like to make the, the border first. So that way I have, and I know it's kind of silly because if something doesn't line up, but I count like three or four times and then I count again and then I count again and then I count again because I'm so nervous about having to pull out stitches. So anyway, that's all I have. I, um, I have some things that I've purchased and I was thinking of having a separate video for that. And I was gonna share some of my cross stitchy things that I have acquired and some of my quilting things and even some pieces that I've antiqued. So I figured since it wasn't gonna be all cross stitch that I would just make a separate video for that. And anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you for stopping by, bye.